Alrighty folks, just thought we'd do a little um, update on the Land Yachts engine, well, motor bay, as it is, I suppose, more properly n known as of now. Um, so what's been done today, broadly, is that we have the motor mountings installed, and we have mounted the electro-hydraulic power steering pump. So, I'm going to climb in here, and uh, because I have plenty of space, as we can see, it's uh, not exactly constrained in here. Oh, ah, squeeze my rather ample bulk in here, and we'll give a little bit of a close-up. Now, this is what would be on this car the right-hand motor mount and uh, this I, time I decided to rather blatantly um, steal an idea that I saw on a video from Royce Wood and uh, that was to use solid steel bar um, as the joining uh, component for the mountings. So, we start off down here on the original uh, BMW um, engine mounting. Uh, what I'm hoping we'll be able to see here is that we have two pieces of uh, flat steel sandwiched together as a piece of 6 mil a piece of 10 mil thick and up to that we have the standard um, mounting bolt which is M10 on this car and welded to that uh, we have a piece of 25 millimeter solid steel bar that comes on up and try and get in here I'm not going to see if I'm going to be successful that comes up to a piece of uh, 50 by 50 by 3 angle steel to which the uh, solid bar has been welded now that angle steel is bolted into uh, two M12 holes that were drilled and tapped when I was rebuilding the motor uh, they are secured in there with two M12 by 16 stainless hex head bolts. Up on the top, um, we have two holes drilled and tapped. Uh, or sorry, we we have two holes drilled, uh, 10.5, and on the back of that we have welded a M10 um, hex nut. And we've done that in two places here on this mounting and the same on the far side now the point of that is that I'm going to be taking a leaf out of Jack's book and mounting the motor controller assembly up up on top of the traction motor itself so this will allow me to easily bolt up to these uh, plates, angles, uh, when the time comes to do so. Now, a bit of light over here extra. What was that scenario? Someone please invent a light that just stays in one position. Too much to ask for, obviously. Let's try it down here. Okay. Now, so, remove some of this loom out of the way. As you can see on this side, we've got broadly the same setup. Uh, let's get down here now beside it. And we have our, uh, again, 25mm solid steel welded to the angle 
and goes down to our sandwich of flat steel here which is attached to the original engine mounting now also here on this side um, we have our Toyota MR2 uh, 12 volt electric uh, power steering pump and that's mounted in here on the basically it's uh, kind of hung off the mounting brackets here and uh, as such is very stable so what I've also managed to um, find here is a standard um, hydraulic fitting uh, that will screw into the high pressure port of this pump as on the E36 um, oops well that's helpful on the E36 um, I, I basically struggled uh, to find somebody that could uh, manufacture a hose for me to do that and um, I ended up having to basically just modify the existing BMW hose but on this case um, I was able to find the fitting that I've just dropped and um, this is M16 by 1.5 thread in there and uh, I can get that fitting it's just rolled away merrily sometimes you couldn't pay these things to do that but there you go um, so that will be having a hydraulic hose made up uh, with a right angle fitting here it's going to go all the way back around under the motor back over down here and we'll have a banjo on my uh, on my valve here and uh, that'll connect the high pressure fluid from the pump to the valve on the steering rack and uh, just the usual return hoses and we'll have the reservoir set up there somewhere um, so also uh, went ahead and um, tigged up these uh, air inlets onto the uh, ducting at the uh, commutator end so they're all done sealed up and that about sums the thing up at this stage folks um, everything is very solid now um, able to engage all all uh, gears and uh, yeah so we're looking pretty good um, and, uh, as I was able to demonstrate there we've got lots of space here for the front battery box and for all of the other components that have to go in so uh, the saga continues uh, stay tuned and uh, we'll be back soon with uh, hopefully some more exciting um, updates